Hello everyone, this is Reverend Harriet Bradley. Um, yeah, would you believe I'm a preacher? Uh, those of you that know me, boy, that, that's just a real miracle. That's a story in itself. But I, I, I'm not able to be at the memorial or the celebration uh, for my friend Kathy Heinze. Um, but I just, I wanted to take time out to, to uh, share it with me, share with you what a blessing Kathy was to, to my life. At 12 years old, I was 12, my mom and dad had worked, you know, saved their money and wanted to bring, build their dream house. Mama wanted to make sure she had plenty of closet space and all of that. And they had bought a land, some land out in Potterville on, on Hartell Road. It was M100 at the time. And so I think they bought it when I was like in second grade, but it took until I was 12 years old. So when I, when we moved to Potterville, I was going into seventh grade. So to go from being in the inner city to Potterville was quite different for me. I felt like well, at the time, even though it was their dream, I felt like it was my nightmare. But looking back now, it was the best thing that ever happened in my life. Um, as you know that, uh, you see I'm African American. <laughs> and when we moved to Potterville at that time, we were the only black family there. It, the only one. So, you know, it was different. You know, there was people that, you know, didn't like us just because of our color. But, you know, with my outgoing personality, I just went on this, you know, went to school. And Kathy and I reached out to me and we became friends. We became buddies. Oh my goodness, we became buddies. I remember when Kathy and I were 14, we became like uh, Canaries, uh, which, is a, which is a program they have for teenagers. And we were at St. Lawrence Hospital and we'd go over there and volunteer. And I remember, because we weren't driving then, I remember that her, her dad took us there and would pick us up. And this one time, her dad, uh, we stopped by McDonald's. <laughs> We stopped by, we stopped by McDonald's to get some, you know, a shake and all that, and I spilled the shake all through the car. So we had to clean it up, and I know her dad wasn't really happy with me, but you know, Kathy, we just hung out, um, and, and you know, we would have go to, you know, we would have pajama parties and that kind of thing. So when Kathy now, Kathy on her 17th birthday, because Kathy's birthday is in April. And mine is in May. I took Kathy out to the Michigan State campus. You know, she spent the night, so you know we, you know we could stay out a little bit longer with my parents. <laughs> yeah, we could. So uh, I think it was the Commodores. We went out there, and so I was friends with Stevie Wonder. And I told her, I said, Kathy, Stevie's going to be there, and there's going to be a party afterwards. And so. We went to the we went to the uh, concert. It was at Genesis uh, Genesis Field House, uh, and and then we went to one of the dorms where uh, where Stevie was with his friend JJ. And so we walked in. and There was this party. There Steve was. Now we don't have any pictures of that because it's not like you know it is now where we got we had cell phones with cameras. That was what that was before cell phones, people. But Kathy and I had a ball. And, and then once we start, once I started, we started driving and I had a car, uh, I used to drive to school. And so at lunchtime, Kathy and I, we would go out, we would, we would go out to my mom's house for lunch and all that and, and, and just, just had a great time. And I remember just, you know, we were, we were, we were, you, if you saw me, you saw Kathy. So uh, when we, we got graduated from high school, Kathy got married. And she, and you know, she had Chad. I went to Michigan State. I remember when we came home, and uh, you know, there I was carrying Chad. And and I remember one of our teachers, one of our teachers saw Kathy and I at the football game, and I had, I was holding Chad. And and, and, and uh, I think it was, I can't remember which teacher it was. It says, "Boy, Kathy, always somebody's hold, uh, else is holding that baby besides you." So as time went on, of course, 
I finished college and was teaching, then got called in the ministry. We kind of lost track and I moved to Tulsa, uh, you know, and, and, and just, just time just kind of, you know, we just kind of got separated in, in, you know, just in our lives. You know, we both were going through some crazy things. We did see each other uh, for our 20th high school reunion. And that was just really, really great seeing Kathy and everybody else. So, but one of the things I loved about Facebook was that I was able to, to reconnect with Kathy and, and we were able to, you know, talk and look. I knew that she had gotten saved and she knew I had gotten saved and, and we were, uh, and I was a minister. And so it was just really great for me to be able to see Kathy. I wanted uh, Facebook because I had so many, I was having financial challenges at that time. So I wasn't able to get to Florida like I really wanted to and then she moved to Michigan. But uh, we stayed in contact, and so uh, we were we we're planning a 50th. High, can you believe it's been 50 years since I graduated from Powder High School? Uh, we we're, we're planning a 50th and a, a reunion, and Kathy had connected on Facebook. So, so um, that was the last thing that I remember seeing her. We were when we had a conversation, and we were talking about different political things. So that was the last conversation that I had with her. But I, I, I just want you to know that Kathy was really special to me, and um, I love her, I miss her, but I know where she is. She's in heaven, and at the right time, Kathy and I will be joined together. Thank you, Lisa, and the rest of the children for giving us the opportunity to celebrate your mother. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm telling you, Kathy and I were something else. So God bless you. Um, and I say, and thank you so much, and, and I just appreciate all of you. You can see I'm a Spartan. See the Spartan? <laughs> Here I'm in Georgia. I'm at, that's right, I'm in Atlanta, Georgia now. I've been delivered from snow. <laughs> so uh, just enjoy the day. I wish I could be there with the potluck, but I thank God for videos and being able to put it together. God bless you. I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.